the fact is that Screenplay never became the iconic show that Good Game Pocket was because there was too much of an attempt at maintaining a certain cleanliness to the show. There was a severe attempt at making sure that most of the discussion was very surface-based, uh, not very deep, not very critical, no debate, uh, no deep elaborate hypotheses. Uh, all of this detailed discussion was not there. So, and I have to make a clear separation. The TV show was not that entertaining because there were the segments were too short, the discussion was too, only uh, very shallow, and they only got through the very basics before they had to move on to the next segment. And often the discussion and the statements that each of the personalities made was so uh, obvious, so straightforward, that it really did not offer anything to a viewer who had some sort of semblance of an awareness of the situation. And so, unless of course you're completely new to video games and you're not aware of what's going on, you probably would not find the screen, uh, screenplay TV show that interesting. On the other hand, uh, especially in the second half, in the 2018 half of Screenplay's runtime, the YouTube channel discussions have become more interesting, more detailed, longer, with more elaborate and detailed points. And it has become, qu it had become quite entertaining to watch. And so I was actually finding that screenplay was picking itself up, it was getting a rhythm, getting some momentum behind itself, and it was actually making great steps forward through figuring out how to actually make interesting uh, 15, 10, 20 minute discussions on a particular video game topic. And so I have to say that uh, as far as the Screenplay YouTube channel is concerned, they were making wonderful steps forward towards creating deep content that really rivaled the Pocket discussions that we saw on Good Game Pocket, especially in 2016.